Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, someone asked me recently what my thoughts were on dating outside of my social class and i answered that i would quite literally never do that and here's why for the purpose of this question i took social class to sort of mean like socioeconomic class so my economic status maybe around how much money i make a social status like perhaps the caliber of school that i went to and the spaces that i found myself in as a result and the people i found myself surrounded by and then also like the lifestyle i've created for myself that's a combination of like the economic status and the school and the spaces and all of that i think you guys get how that fits together it's important to note that i I did not grow up with a lot of money. My father went to prison when I was four years old. During that time and all the time after, like my mom has been a public school teacher, so they don't make a lot of money when we first moved to Atlanta. We lived in a two bedroom apartment with seven people sharing one bathroom. Like I literally shared the bottom bunk of a bunk bed with my second oldest brother. And then my oldest brother and my sister-in-law were on the top bunk of that bed. Okay, we were not a Jack and Jill family, okay? Money was not we didn't have a lot of it so knowing my circumstances when i was like 12 years old i made this vision board for myself my mom actually found recently in her storage unit i had basically carved out my entire life like what i was going to do in high school to make sure i could get into an ivy league college and what i was going to do with that college to make sure i could get into a certain law school or buy a certain car and have a certain apartment or home like all of these things i had planned out and i knew that because my family didn't have the same financial resources someone else's did or access certain people to get me into doors i had to open them myself. So that's what I did. I created an insane amount of opportunities for myself by literally putting my blood, sweat, and tears into everything I did. From the time that I was 12 years old until now, like 23, I was so intentional about every decision I made, whether it was not dating in high school or not drinking or prioritizing school or trying to get different scholarships. I did everything in my power to make sure that the life I was creating for myself while I was kind of stepping into the autonomy that I would have as a young adult, even as a teenager going into a young adult, being able to create the life I want to, that I was doing everything in my power to have something different than what I had growing up. And of course, I didn't have to do this. I didn't have to stay up all night applying to scholarships to earn over half a million dollars to go to college. I didn't have to apply to Columbia and do all the things that is required to get into a school like that. But I wanted to because I wanted to have a certain life. Even when it comes to content, when I started making content, I was taking 19 credit hours. I was working three days a week and off at my internship but then I was also working with a tech startup virtually and then I also started doing content and it was probably one of the hardest times in my life but again I knew that I wanted to set myself up for greatness and that is what was required so knowing that understanding how much work I put into the person that I wanted to be in the life I wanted to have feels so unfair to me now and also to my younger self who was just so forward thinking and like put so many things on the back burner to prioritize the life that I would have right now for me to date someone who cannot give me the life that I've always wanted like they can't match it I don't even need you to give it to me because I've already gotten it for myself but if you can't be right there with me it's not fair to me to lower my standards or accept certain things that I knew I never wanted to which is why I work so hard on myself just so that I can be with you and it is not lost on me the fact that a lot of guys my age are just not going to have what I have because I'm in a very unique position to make an insane amount of money for someone my age and that's where the other part of the social economic status comes in i need to at least see that you have worked as hard as i have to put yourself into certain spaces to open up certain doors for yourself to go to certain schools or whatever it is because you have this intrinsic ambition and drive because you know that you also have your eyes set on the sort of lifestyle that i do and that is what you're actively working towards every day not having that does not make you a bum it doesn't make you undesirable it doesn't make you an unattractive man or anything it just makes you incompatible with me and the lifestyle that I want to have. I appreciate the drive that I have and the confidence that has been instilled in me because of all the things I've been able to do for myself. And I really appreciate that and other potential partners as well. So if I'm really considering like seriously, seriously dating someone, not just like a casual date, whatever, this is something that is a requirement for me. It's not like, a, oh, I hope, or maybe I will. I've tried it before. I'm not doing it. This is what I require. And I don't think it's a lot to ask. Shit, I asked it of myself at 12 and look at where I am. I'm sorry, is there anything wrong with what she said? Did you hear her saying that this is what she believes that everybody or every woman should be doing? Did you hear her telling women that this is how they should date? She's talking about her life and her preferences and why she has those preferences. Because she didn't go through all of these things in life. Educate herself get the job that she have 
just so that she would date someone who will end up being jealous of her, envious of her, you know, feeling threatened by her. Someone that she always has to explain herself to. Someone that she always have to, you know, kind of lower herself for or come down to their level. <laughs> hey, my God. I know English is not my first language, but I had to listen to her a couple of times. And to be honest, I still don't know what she said wrong. I still, am I getting something wrong? Is there something wrong? If there's something wrong, please let me know in the comment section because I'm still not understanding why a lot of people are angry because of what she said. She even explained it better. A lot of people just say, oh, I don't like to date broke guys, you know, and I don't like this. And, you know, it's just like that. And she explained herself. She explained how she got from point A to this point in her life, how she's doing well for herself, how and why she will not date somebody who can't meet her at least at her level or who is above her. I think this is what we should be teaching our daughters, okay? You should be able to do for yourself, right? And then when you're able to do for yourself because of that, you should want to meet somebody who will at least meet you at your level, all right? And that may not happen. That's fine. Because if that doesn't happen, you should be okay being by yourself, right? Because you're self-sufficient and you don't need someone you just want them I'm sorry but the worst decision you can make as a woman in life is going into a relationship or lying next to a man who doesn't like you who is your biggest up who is trying everything in their power to bring you down who doesn't understand why you are the way you are who wants you to be beneath him and will do anything to sabotage you because of that why would you want to sign up for that i i, I don't understand after everything that you've gone through in life. I I, I don't get it. But anyway, let's get into some of the um, stitches and I'm going to come back and talk some more. And don't forget to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank you. I need for y'all to wrap up Clark's basic standards when it comes to dating. I need y'all to wrap that up. What Clark said is nothing new. It's nothing new. And it lets me know that a lot of y'all did not grow up with y'all grandparents or mothers talking about being equally yoked. To your partner like if i'm a woman who takes pride in learning and like to further my education why would i marry a man with no degree if i'm a woman who is proud of my degree and loves my job why would i marry a man who belittles me and my degree why would i marry my op so instead of sitting here and judging clark for her non-strict dating standards, how about we take a look at ours? Dating down. The sign to Clark's video about dating down has been going viral. First things first, encouraging young women to have high standards is never a bad thing. And it gives me comfort, hope in the world that we have people like Clark disseminating positive information to the youth. I just think it says a lot when we're vilifying young women for having high standards. And these are young women that are highly intelligent, highly educated, high earners. They're like the dream woman. Well, many people's dream women. I think it's quite rational and logical that such a woman should be picky about her mate. If you don't see the logic in that, then God help you. We're going to keep this light and easy where possible because I know it's a topic that triggers people. And for me, there's two sets of people that are going to be triggered in this conversation. One, women that are standing two toes on their questionable boundary standards when it comes to men. Or number two, the very men in question. The men who are essentially not deemed desirable by these high earning, highly educated women. Another thing that I want to stress, socioeconomic status does not go hand in hand with the value of a person. Even for me, this whole classes thing, whenever I hear the term, it's kind of redundant. It's like, this is essentially how the world works i didn't ask for it to be made that way these power plays to be at play it's just the way it is socioeconomic status can be a positive or a negative indicator for things like maternal health childhood health life expectancy the list really goes on it doesn't make it right but these are the observations of the world and so as a woman when you are being selective about who you're mating with who you're procreating with i think it's very much rational to want the best for yourself to give your children the best opportunity the best start at life again are we vilifying women for that then 
there's an overemphasis on my heart, my feelings, love, all very important, don't get it twisted. However, it reminds me of that Love is Blind episode where one of the contestants was basically saying, oh, my head is saying one thing, but my heart is saying another. Women, and it is typically women, if I'm being honest with you, use emotions to legitimize stupid decisions. All I know is that men tend to think with their heads, not their hearts, and it gets them very far. And really, this just ties into a wider conversation of standards when it comes to mating and procreating. For some people, the quickest, relatively accurate, strongest indicator is socioeconomic class. It's not the absolute. There's obviously other considerations to bear in mind, such as character. To be honest with you, there's so much that I could say on this topic, but I'm going to keep my mouth closed. I don't think the internet is ready for intelligent conversation, nuanced conversation. There's people out there that have a PhD in refusing to want to understand, and that's okay. I can't save you. Date down if you want to date down, okay? Date up if you want to date up. I just think that we shouldn't force our expectations onto other people that are also having a dating experience. I think that Clark made a very good video about what it means to have expectations for yourself as someone who is dating. And everybody ran with it and acted like she was telling y'all what to do with your dating life. That's not what she was doing. She was simply stating what it is she will tolerate in her dating life. And I don't have too much to say about what you should do or what is the best route to take because I think that everybody is different. But what I will say is that I have dated people from all walks of life, from all economic statuses. And what I focus on now is compatibility. And that is what Clark was talking about. She was talking about compatibility. And for her, compatibility looks like being on the same educational playing field, being on the same financial playing field. Only you can decide what is healthy for you. Only you can decide what makes sense for you. What's compatible for me might not be compatible for you. Me, what matters most is ambition and drive and financial expectations and lifestyle compatibility. I feel like a lot of people see other people talking about dating expectations or dating experiences and then they automatically think that that's what's gonna work for them. That's not how it works. That's all I had to say, okay? I'm about to head to a New York Fashion Week event. And yeah, I feel really cute and pretty per. Love you, bye. No, I'm sorry, you guys can never make me hate Clark. You can never make me hate Makai because they're chatting sense. I'm so sorry. There are girls out here with two degrees, let alone one, that are dating a guy even without his freedom. What? And you guys are bashing either or for having standards. Why is it always when it comes to black women, like, we're not allowed to have standards out here. If the girl says she only wants to date somebody that went to a Russell Group uni, or somebody that's on the same career path as her, or somebody that can match her intellectually, or match her economically, or match her socioeconomic back background, what is it to you? Because I don't believe she got onto this, I'm talking about Mackay and Clark, I don't believe either of them got onto this app and said, oh, everybody should date, or you guys should only date. They spoke from their experience. They spoke of their expectations. They spoke of what they want date when they're dating. Them. The scenario is specific to them. And I don't know if some people are a little bit loose in the brain or if the lights are on upstairs, but no one knows how to connect it to the wiring in the house. But they're speaking of situations specific to them. And I don't think it's a bad thing if you want somebody to match you economically or match your um socially culturally what if you've sacrificed and i'm talking about clark now if you've sacrificed your entire childhood in order to set yourself up for the future why are you then going to be with a man who can't understand what you've been through who isn't on the same wavelength as you why are you then going to be with somebody that you are clearly incompatible with that doesn't make, that makes no sense and people are really getting stuck on this whole, whole russell group thing russell group, russell, russell group. she's She's speaking from her experience because she went to a Russell Group Uni. If you didn't go to Russell Group Uni, then obviously you don't understand where she's coming from. And people are saying, oh, Russell Group Unis are not the same as, as Yale and, and Harvard and etc. The education systems in the UK and in the US, yes, they're different. But if we're going to talk about equivalents here, we're talking about Oxbridge, Cambridge and Oxford. And then we're talking about Russell Group Unis. And that could mean any Russell Group Uni because there is a subculture when you do go to Russell Group Uni. I remember how intense it was at Warwick in my second year when people were banging out applications, applications after application after application. I said, oh, was there some sort of club I wasn't, I wasn't, 
I wasn't aware of. Why is everyone doing applications? Why is everyone getting fixed in their CV? Why are people um, getting me in the pupillages all of a sudden? Why are people getting training, tra um, training contracts all of a sudden? Why are people, um, you know, having insight days at business stuff? And da -da 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 -da. there is a subculture that goes on at Russell Green. It's, it's not a secret. People are working. And I'm not saying if you didn't go to Russell Group that you're not working hard. But I can understand if you want somebody that also has that shared experience of that, that tireless, that ferocity, that real want to succeed and ambition. I understand that. Not to say that people that didn't, didn't go to Russell Group didn't also have that experience, but she's talking about specifically to her. She didn't get onto this app and say, you need to date somebody that went to a Russell Group uni because if you didn't, then you're wasting your time. She didn't say that. And let's use critical thinking, please. As black women, it's actually okay for us to have standards and our standards don't have to be the same as our best friend's standards or our mum's standards or our colleague's standards. It's personal to us. So when Makai got on this app and was talking about her personal standards when it comes to her dating, that's for her, that's not for, like, what? And then when Clark came on here and said, oh, it's just my preference that I would like to date somebody, I wouldn't date down. Why is everybody up in arms about this? The girl has standards and it's her standards. It doesn't mean it's your standards. Don't project onto other people your standards because she didn't project onto her standards. She just said, oh, this is what I go for when I date. Let's use critical thinking, please. Let's enforce that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go ahead and keep it all the way real. The only ones mad at Clark and her strict standards are the ones that could never meet her standards and are thereby excluded from her dating pool or they're jealous. They ain't got what Clark got. And they know if they require the same kind of standards that Clark did, they never get nobody. They die alone. Let's keep it a stack. Let's keep it a stack. I mean, she really ain't saying nothing out the way. Nothing crazy sounding to me. If I had worked my entire life to get to a certain level and provide myself a certain kind of lifestyle, why would I then not date somebody that would meet me where I'm at? Like you, use your common sense. And it ain't like she's hurting for offers. She got suitors. I followed Clark for a while. I've seen her dating content. Now, I will say, most of the time they do be white. I, I will say that, they do be white. But I mean, that's just the spaces that she's in more than likely. You date who you're around. So I mean, I can't really fault her too much. It really sounds like some hating shit though. Y'all ease up off her, bro. It's like, if you want to sign up for struggle, if you want to go to school, go through everything that you've gone through in life, go to school, right? Do something for yourself, like become self-made and then end up with somebody who will pay the light bills. Yeah, by, by all means, enjoy. Go and do that, okay? If you like it, we like, we like it for you. But don't stop other people from talking about the reasons why they want to surround themselves with certain type of people. In their lives the annoying part of all of this is the pick me's in the comment section they are so annoying like you guys and you ladies in that comment section saying that she's doing too much and so on and so forth you should date one another problem solved we keep saying that date one another find one another the comment section is there for you to uh, approach one another right just approach one another on there you hear her, you support her, you go into her DMs, you meet up, and then you start dating. See how it goes for all of you, okay? And leave the rest of us alone. If she has her standards, obviously she's not talking to you. And the funny thing is, is when women talk about their degrees and how well or what they've been able to do for themselves and so on and so forth, these men will be like, oh, we don't care for your degrees, we don't care. So if you don't care, what's your problem? You shouldn't be even watching her. But the problem is you don't want her to have standards. You want every Tom, Dick and Harry to have access to this woman, right? And she's like, I've been through a lot in life. I'm not just going to allow any Tom, Dick and Harry in my life just because I want a man. And you have a problem with that. That is a you problem. You need to go and check yourself. Because you further prove a point, okay? You prove a point without even knowing. Because if you have been educated like she has, if you've been through the things that she has, right <laughs> you won't be having this argument the thing is you don't still understand it went over your head right because you thought she was talking to you she's not talking to you then people that she's talking to they will get her because they've also been through shit like her they've also been able to dig themselves out of certain holes that they were stuck or trapped in 
right and so those people will get her the people she's speaking to they get it she's not talking to you so if you hear this message and you feel some type of way about it obviously she wasn't talking to you because you still don't get it right it's the same way when it comes to her preferences in dating those men will see her they will understand her they will get her and they will want to be with her not the men who don't get it if you don't get it forget about it it's as simple as that it will always fly over your head you always have a problem you are going to have a uh, big uh, essays and all of that and you still not get it it takes someone who's been through what she's been through to get why she's saying what she's saying it's as simple as that period i'm not going to talk too much young women keep your standards high okay yeah when you choose your preferences you want the curly hair girls with the light skin you want the uh what do you call it um uh, caucasian women with the uh, blonde hair and the blue eyes you want the big chested women the big bat women nobody says anything you go after that so when the women also come and they are talking about i want someone to at least meet me where i am or be above me please don't have a problem with that that's all clearly it's not for you you can scroll and keep it pushing that's all but anyway let me know your thoughts and opinions about all of this thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again with another video take care of yourselves bye <music>